like a father, like I'm Naruto. Keep the blade on me, Ichigo. Who really wanna go toe for toe? TTR from Tokyo. Diamonds whipping up on the stove. Lucky man, like a four leaf glow. Diamonds wanna go. Hey everyone, it's me, Nagato here. Hope you guys are having an awesome day for today. And as the title states, I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to play classic PlayStation 1 games on your modded PSP. And for this process as well, I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to convert PS1 games, whether it fits in an ISO or BinaQ format, into .pbp so you can play on your modded device. One thing I do want to state or a disclaimer before we even get started on the whole process is today, if you don't already have a jailbroken PlayStation Portable or your PSP is not modded in any shape or form, I highly recommend to go ahead and check out my official guide here in this guide I will show you all of the steps you need to do to basically do this process on to have a jailbroken PlayStation portable on that video Since one of the prerequisites for this video is to have a modified device before going into installing ps1 games on it So that's why I do want to state that for here speaking of prerequisites as all my videos have Um everything that I will list will be in a link in the description down below and I will have useful links and downloads as well Just like any of all my videos so what I do want to state is that you need a PSP that's already modified with custom firmware or in any shape or form so if you're using pro 6.61 LME 6.61 those are just examples but make sure your PSP is modified for this uh, process and this method does work with the 1000 2000 3000 and go or basically the little PSP go are compatible with this method you also need any PlayStation 1 game that is in BinaQ format or ISO format as well um for this process, you need a PSP USB data cable slash charging cable. So you need a uh, USB cable to plug this into your PC so we could transfer our PlayStation 1 titles that way. You also need a program called PSX to PSP.exe. This is going to allow us to take our PlayStation 1 game that's already in bin and Q format and then convert it over to a .pvp file. And I will have that in a link in the description down below. And optional, your game needs basically a cover art or back art if you want to kind of have a more official look for your little project in terms of basically you know converting your ps1 games on your psp i just want to give a special thanks out to all of the playstation portable devs um throughout the time just for you know creating these cool exploits and programs out there so shouts out to you guys but with that being stated we're going to go ahead on the pc and get started all right guys so first things first what we need to do is verify our psp is plugged into my pc so make sure you have your cable out for here now what we need to do on our PlayStation portable scroll all the way to the left we need to go into USB connection and once you enter it in what we need to do is transfer to the PC alrighty guys we're back onto the PC as showcased here so as of right now your PlayStation portable should be connected to your PC with the USB cable but what we need to do is go ahead and download this file right here so that will be in the link in the description down below download it just put it to your desktop and it will be in a .zip file so if you have something like WinZip or Renoir all you gotta do is just right click over this file extract it make it into its own folder hit OK and then you will have the PSX to PSP folder extracted. So what I'm going to do now is just put this in a recycling bin and I'm just going to explain some of the things we need to focus on here. So this program on PSX to PSP, this allows us to take our PlayStation 1 games and basically convert it to our PSP as .pbp files. What we also need as well is our game of choice, which I'm going to be using today is Spyro the Dragon. You can use any PS1 game of your choice. And as showcased here, all my contents of my game are in one folder folder so here is the in basically spiral and bin and Q format so make sure your thing is in bin and Q or ISO format for this process um this is optional but you could also have the game's cover art and also a background for it if you want a more official look what I did was to get the background or cover art for um you know Spyro I just googled it so all you got to do is just type any your game of choice and then just add cover art in basically Google search engine if you want to um, do this process it's optional but I like to have this since I want a more official look on my PlayStation 1 or excuse me on my PSP from my PS1 titles but with that being all out the way let's go ahead and get started on PSX to PSP so let's go ahead and open the folder that we just extracted we're gonna go into PSX to PSP if this is your first time opening up this mode, what we're going to do is go ahead and you click on this mode right here where it has the blue highlight. So just hit OK. And then from here, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and X out of this. We're going to go into the mode. It's going to pop up 
And now what we're going to do is go ahead and get this set up for our game. So we're going to go to our convert menu right here. We're going to have to find our ISO or .pbp file. So let's go ahead and click on this button right here. Go to our game of choice wherever you have it at. So here's Spyro. Go ahead and select the bin of your game. So that's my game right here. We're going to put it into our output folder. So what I'm going to do is just put it to my desktop so it can output there. And this is where our game is going to be once it's converted it's going to be in this location so it's just going to be on my desktop um it should automatically prompt up the game's name and title you can also change it if you want to as well but every all the excuse me all of the metadata will pop up since the dot bin file will already contain it now what we want to do is go ahead and hit customize.pbp and we're going to go ahead and get our icon so all we got to do this is the first option here go ahead and find where your pictures are located so all of my pictures are located in a spiral folder I made so go ahead and get your cover art hit open your background image go ahead and select whatever background image you want if you're going to be doing this of course this step is optional so you don't have to do it and now I'm going to minimize this but as shown here you can see that my game now has the PlayStation 1 uh, cover art as well as the wallpaper for this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit convert, or excuse me, make the convert menu and just hit convert. Now what it's doing is taking our PlayStation 1 file that is a dot bin and it's now making it into an eboot.pbp. So what I'm gonna do here is cut the video. It should be all done once um, in a few seconds. And then what we're gonna do is transfer this over to our PSP. A few moments later. Alrighty guys, so as showcase here, it's now done. You can see that it says final compression at 43%. So all you gotta do once your game is done is hit okay, close out of PSX to PSP. And now wherever you put your output folder or if you did it the same way as me, yours should be on your desktop. So this game right here is basically the eboot.bin version of Spyro. So here's the regular bin one we had. And if I go into this folder right here, this is the converted version of Spyro for the PSP. So now what we need to do is make sure your USB is still connected onto your PlayStation Portable and you need to find it in File Explorer. So here's all of my PSP contents. Where you wanna go ahead and drop your game at is if you go into PSP, go into game, and now you wanna go ahead and drag and drop your game of choice into this directory. So that's what I'm doing here. I already had Spyro on this system, but I'm just gonna retransfer it so you guys can see that it's doing this process now. So it may take a little while. So if you're doing a bunch of games, of course, it's gonna take longer. But once this uh, process is fully done, what we're gonna do is go ahead and showcase the PSP, get the game running and loading, and then yeah, that's exact or basically that's all you have to do for this process. So I'm just gonna cut the video right here. And as showcased here guys, you can see that my PlayStation Portable game has now been transferred over. So let's go to our PSP, exit out of the USB mode, and then let's see if our game of choice is here. Alrighty guys, so what we need to do now is exit out of USB mode as showcased here. Now we need to go ahead and scroll all the way to our games column on our PlayStation Portable. Go to our memory stick. Now we need to go ahead and see if our game is here. So here is Spyro. You can tell that it's the same one that we just transferred over from our PC due to the wallpaper and cover art. So it may take a little while for it to boot on screen. But once the game has showed up, you can see that I am now playing my PlayStation 1 dump of Spyro now on my modded PSP device. As well, if you want to go ahead and learn how to change like the aspect ratio, all you got to do is hit options. There are also other settings you could do. So what I'm going to do is just change my uh, view of the game so to normal. But yeah, this is how essentially you could play any backup PS1 game onto your modded PSP device. Thus, that's why I still love the PlayStation Portable to this day, since you could play a lot of, you know, cool classic games, whether it be from the PS1 or any emulator games, such as like the NES or SNES classic titles, all on the go. But yep, essentially this is how you do this process. If you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and if you have any questions, comment down below. In other words, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. 
Hey everyone, it's me Nagato's Adventure. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. With that being out the way as well, I highly do recommend that y'all guys go ahead and follow my social media so you never miss any of the latest hacking guides and tutorials on my channel by subscribing to me and hitting that notification button as well. It's another method on how you will know when I drop my latest content, whether it be for the Vita, PS4, PS3, and such and so forth. As well, if you want to be in a mix of things and you want to join my official community, you can join via the link right now showcased on the screen and join my my discord that way and if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form you could become a patron i will have a card right now but with all of that getting out the way hope you guys really did enjoy this video and i'll see y'all next time peace